Okay, this video is designed to teach you about the ribosomes. To start off, we'll look at our animal cell diagram like we usually do. Try to identify these in here. Uh, one of the things about the ribosomes, they're actually found in multiple locations. The description here says they're small complexes of RNA and protein that are the sites for protein synthesis. That is their main function. Ribosomes are making proteins. As with many things in this chapter, because you've heard me say this many times in these videos, we're actually going to come back to this process later on. Cells is a huge foundation for the things that we'll be doing at the end of the second quarter and most of the third quarter. We'll cover protein synthesis, which is the process that happens in ribosomes. We're going to cover respiration, which is the process that happens in mitochondria. We're also going to cover photosynthesis, which is the process that happens in the chloroplast. So we'll be coming back to a lot of these ideas. You know, in biology, a lot of things build, so you have to be comfortable with cells as a base because we're going to be building off a lot of this knowledge later on. But uh, ribosomes are found in two locations in animal cells. They're found attached to the endoplasmic reticulum, as it's showing you here, and then these little dots out in the cell, those are ribosomes as well. Some of them are free-floating. So those are the two locations where you can find them there. We'll take a look at our plant cell. We'll see we have the same deal with this one. We find the little ribosomes all over the endoplasmic reticulum and then also free floating out in the cell. They have exactly the same function, whether it's in plant or animal cells, they're still building proteins. One of the unique things about ribosomes is that they're also found in prokaryotic cells. Remember that the two that we just talked about, the plant and the animal cells, are eukaryotic. Prokaryotic cells are things like bacteria. The only organelle that they have is the ribosomes. If you look at the rest of this thing, there are none of the other organelles that we're talking about. And part of that is because of what they're made of. They're made of RNA, which is something that the prokaryotic cells have. Um, as far as the membrane-bound organelles go, like all the other ones, they don't have that stuff. Uh, something that's unique about ribosomes is there is no membrane around them. You know, there is a membrane around all of the other organelles, like the ER, the Golgi apparatus, all that stuff is covered with the membrane. Some of them even have two, like we mentioned with the mitochondria and the chloroplast. But for the, uh, the ribosomes, there is no membrane around it. It's just this little cluster of RNA and proteins. So since it's something simple, the prokaryotic cells can have them because these are relatively simple cells compared to the eukaryotic cells. But you can see them in there. Uh, once again, just talking about these, they don't have the organization that the eukaryotic cells do. You can see it's kind of a mess in here. It's mostly just the genetic material and then the ribosomes on the inside. Uh, to give you an idea of what these actually look like, we've got a little uh, electron microscope image. I'm not sure if this one is scanning electron or transmission electron. I would guess actually that it's a scanning electron image because it seems just to be showing more of like the outside of the ribosomes here. Uh, these would be some of the free floating ones so they're not actually attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. And then one last image to look at will give you an idea of what the ribosomes look like actually attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. Uh, this is a scanning electron image that we used, or I'm sorry, transmission <laughs> electron image that we used before when we were talking about the ER. And you can see that the rough endoplasmic reticulum has all these little dots on it. Those little dots are the ribosomes. So whether they're free-floating in the cytoplasm or located on the endoplasmic reticulum, they pretty much look like the same thing inside of the cell. So the last bit is just to talk about some of the features. I guess this should really say like features or characteristics that I want you to know of the, uh, the ribosomes. The first thing that you need to know is that they build proteins. That is their main function. That is the most important thing to know about them. As far as where they come from, these guys are made in the nucleolus. We talked about the nucleolus a little bit when we were discussing the nucleus. Remember, this is that uh, dense, like dark section on the inside of the nucleus where they're made. Uh, the next one is a big one. They are found in all cells. The all here being the key word, that includes even bacteria cells. And then the last one is that some of them are on the ER and some of them are also 
free floating in the cell. So no matter where they're located, they're all doing the same thing. They're all building these proteins. So I hope you learned a few things about the ribosomes. I hope the pictures and they were helpful for you. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.